All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. If you have ever heard me say this before, if I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. As it goes in Europe, so does it goes in America. Listen to this. Check this out. They are having a problem over there, a very serious problem with terrorists. Watch this. They're using motor vehicles, like I told you they would years ago. Told you it was coming. They're using um, nerve gas. They're using guns. They're using, check this out, knives. And you know what the solution for the whole entire state is, or at least for the mayor of London is? Ban anything that could be a tool. I mean, you could use a rock, you could use a pen, uh, you could use a butter knife, you could use a knife, uh, you could use a car, a motorcycle, you could use anything you want to, to take out and snuff out someone's life. But now over in London, look, they're going after knives. Now watch this. This is one country that is against the citizens defending themselves. And I still don't understand why people are still there. But but they, they are. And there's only two people that possess firearms and knives now. You know who they are? The police and the criminals. And there's just simply not enough police to keep up with the crime. And you know what their logic and theory is for a solution? I know what we can do. We can pass another law that only a law-abiding citizens will abide, which that's quickly being thrown to the wayside because the law-abiding citizens are starting to see that their civil liberties are being eroded, and the more laws that they pass, it does not stop anyone who wants to be lawless. It just simply don't work. And what the state is doing is making the people vulnerable, making the people vulnerable to attack, making the people vulnerable to everything that's going on out here in this world because you're not allowed to protect yourself. Well, there's an article right here, and I'm going to include in this, this link below right here. London Mayor Sadiq Khan targets knives as murder rate spikes. There is never a reason to carry a knife. Now, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why would murder the murder rate spike in London when people can't arm themselves with guns. Why? Why? I mean, I mean, after all, wasn't it the guns that caused all this death? Oh, now it's the knives. I wonder when we're going to start banning vehicles. Because it's obvious that every time we look up, every few months, terrorists are using cars, they're using vans, they're using bombs, they're using everything to just kill folks. You know, it's so disgusting. I'm not even going to waste time reading this article on here. You get time, you want to check it out, you you you, you, you um go read it yourself. I mean, I will give you a little bit because it will make sense. Look, London Mayor Sadiq Khan announced a tough crackdown on Knives Sunday as the city reels from a spike in stabbings and have led its number one homicides to top New York City for two straight months. You mean tell me, wait a minute. New York and London is in competition of homicides? And, and what does both those places have in common? Oh, you got it right. Bingo. The populace or the citizens can't defend themselves. They cannot carry guns. So who's all these hanging acts being performed by? Why? It's the criminals. It's the lawless. It's the people. Isn't that amazing? He tweeted, no excuses. There is never a reason to carry a knife. You see, now what? Now another thing you need to realize is that these public officials, they are protected by people who carry guns, Secret Service, law enforcement. They are protected by people who carry mace and billy sticks and every other tasers and everything else. So the reason why they say that there's never a reason for no one to carry a knife or a gun because they're protected by them. Anyone who does will be caught and they will feel the full force of the law. The tweet also included an action plan to boost police power 
and prevent future violence. So, okay, so I know the solution is put more police on the street. Well, you know, according to the Constitution of the United States of America, the sole purpose of us having the Second Amendment is for us to be able to defend ourselves from the tyranny of government. That's, that's one of the reasons. So, they're going to a police state, if they're already there in London, they damn sure want over here in, in these gun lawless states, such as Illinois and um, New York and California. But the most crimes and the most homicides are taking place all across this world in the places where you can't have a firearm or now a knife to defend yourself. What type of nonsensical attitude or what type of schizophrenic reasoning is that? What type of drugs are these people on? London has seen more than 50 homicides already in 2018. Most of the city's murder victims have been stabbed to death as guns are tightly restricted in Britain and shootings are relatively rare. If the bloody trend continues, London will far surpass the 130 murders in 2017 and reach a number not seen since the early 2000s. Man, y'all got to go read the rest of this article. It's off the chain. It, it literally is off the chain. And it's sad. And it sickens me that this is the, the reasoning. This is the reasoning. Uh, but you know what? Ban all guns, but send your son and your daughters to their wantless wars so they can carry guns and kill other people. It's just, it's off the chain. Now, I, it, none of this makes any sense.